This is a D13 engine which is used in most of uh, the machines that are using Volvo machines underground. Sandvik is using some of this and also the Volvo machine and any other equipment. Now, these engines have uh, they are high tech engines, modern engines that are conformable to the European standards and American standards, which are the regulated market. Now, the exhaust gases, when they come out and they are emitted to the atmosphere, they have got high levels of nitrogen oxides, which damage the environment. Now, in order to control that, there is what is known as now the exhaust gas recirculation, where you recirculate the same exhaust back into the combustion chamber so that you burn them for the second time. So whatever gases, nitrogen oxides that we are not bent, they will now be completely bent. Now, this component here is a sensor that measures the, uh, the levels of nitrogen oxide present in this. So when the, the level of nitrogen oxide present increases, the computer, which has the electronic control module, will sense and open this valve, which is the exhaust uh, gas recirculation valve. And now, instead of all the exhaust going to the atmosphere, you have to recirculate them now. Back, which they will be cooled, because once they are cooled, you lower the, the temperature, lowering the emissions. So they will be cooled here using the, the coolant from the radiator. They will, they will be cooled and this, they, they will be cooled. And this sensor here will also measure the temperature. You have measured the temperature going in. You measure the temperature going out. Okay, and this is also another sensor, which is also measuring even the, the amount, the flow, the mass of exhaust gas going in. Then this is the throttle valve, which is controlled by the driver as you want to rev the engine or increase the engine revolution. Now the, the, the intake air that is coming from, from the atmosphere through this valve, plus the exhaust recirculation, they will meet here in what we call the mixing chamber. And when they mix in a proportion, that is regulated because once the computer measures the flow here, it is able to reduce what is coming in through the valve or stop completely. Because again, we don't want to contaminate completely the exhaust, but it's a ratio that is done correctly under the program, the programs that has been inserted into the return control module. Then these gases now, the exhaust gas recirculated plus the fresh air will now enter the combustion chamber for the second time now, enter the combustion chamber and get bent. Okay, and again, there is another sensor here, which again senses the, um, the, the amount of air inside the combustion chamber. And that now will be bent for the second time. And after that, this exhaust now will be green, meaning that the amount of exhaust nitro nitrous oxides, the dangerous exhaust gases will now have been reduced completely. So this component here, which is the computer electronic control module of this engine, is the one responsible to monitor all the gases that are coming out of the engine and the, what is entering to the engine. The temperature, the levels of nitrogen oxides, oxides that are coming out, and also the, the mass of volume of the flow rate of the, uh, the air that is entering. It is a, this computer is monitoring and doing all adjustments, including the, the speed of the turbocharger. It, the, the same computer here is able to do all the measurements because it has been programmed. That is the reason why these engines are very efficient. These engines are very good at uh, measure, measuring the parameters. And uh, when you look at uh, the valve here, very good, which is able also to ensure that uh, it is monitoring and calculating the amount of air that is able to enter into the engine in order to give the engine the power that it needs. So once students come, we are able to demonstrate how to service these components, how to strip them, rebuild them, and do day-to-day -day maintenance and routine checks that is able to be conducted using the standard manuals which have been provided by Volvo Construction Equipment.